Do you want to be in this and what we're, we're going to make? What's up everyone? Welcome back to Henry's Kitchen. Before we get started, it was a little dark in the last video, so I had to bring out the professional lighting. You already know. Back to me. So today on the menu we've got some Asian fried chicken and then we've got some vegetarian egg rolls and then I have a special avocado stuffed with a smoked mini sausage egg roll as well. So let's get started. First up for the Asian fried chicken, we have the drumsticks of course and then we have the fresh chicken wings. And for the spices, we, we're messing with some granulated onion powder, some Asian pepper powder, and then this one right here is called the pepper salt for fried chicken. This stuff is the real good stuff. And then of course we have the accessory spices like crushed red pepper, we have soy sauce, we have black pepper, salt, and ginger and garlic. Okay. The first step is to wash the chicken. So we're gonna wash it right under the cold sink. Now that the chicken are thoroughly washed, the next step is for us to pat them dry so that the marinade can adhere to the chicken. Give it a nice deep flavor. So the next step after drying the chicken is we're going to make a couple slits in the meat so that the marinade can penetrate deep into the meat itself instead of just sticking onto the skin. That way when we bite into the chicken, it's flavorful from inside and out. You're working with chicken, it's always important to wash your hand throughout the entire process. You don't want to catch none of that salmonella, nothing like that. No nella nellas, all right? Also, clean your knife, change your cutting board. That's how we do it, keep it clean and clean. Okay, now that all the prep work is done, it's time for the main event, seasoning. Let's go, let's go. All right, so first up, we're gonna evenly coat the chicken and spices here. That's a one. Here we got the peppered salt for fried chicken. And th for this seasoning, this is what they used in the, uh, the Taiwanese popcorn chicken. Very strong flavors. At the same time, it's not overpowering, but it still gives a strong kick. And we got the onion powder right here. Make sure when you're, you're seasoning your chicken, don't be shy, all right? Don't be shy with the seasoning. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh. We got the freshly cracked black pepper. A little bit of the crushed red pepper flakes. Don't be shy. Nuh-uh. This will give it a little heat. And then to kind of mix in all the ingredients, we're gonna use this for later. Here we got the salt, okay? Let me show you a little bit of that salt bay action, okay? That's all the seasoning for the chicken. Now we're gonna get our hands dirty by mixing it up. Now that we're done with all the dry marinade, we're gonna move on to the wet one. So come check it out. First up, we're gonna put the ginger and garlic. And what this does is not only does it add more flavor, but it adds a, a more clean taste to the chicken. So this is just for the marinade, keep in mind. And now we're gonna add some soy sauce right here. And what this, what this is going to do is really combine all the seasoning we just put in and add a depth in salt and soy flavor. We're not gonna add too much, but we wanna make sure we cover the wings just like so. And we're gonna do the same for the drumsticks. Voila, beautiful. Okay. Now that the marinade for the chicken is up and running, we're going to let it sit for about half an hour. And in the meantime, we're going to be working on the filling for our egg rolls. 
we have for the egg rolls we have vegetarian and avocado filled with sausage egg rolls check it out so for the egg rolls this is what we're messing with for the for the vegetarian we got uh woodier mushrooms we have some dried rice noodles we got some tofu mushrooms and cabbage and for the avocado one we have avocado of course and these little beef little smokies and again for the seasoning we got some vinegar black pepper salt uh, sesame oil and then again the crushed red pepper to give it a kick and these are the wraps that we're going to be using today spring roll shells first we're going to cut the avocados so right down the middle and we're just going to get the pit out there you go. and we're going to use a spoon to scoop out all the meat into a bowl Flavor wise for the avocado egg roll, we want it to be really pure. So that's why we're not adding too many ingredients because we really want the avocado to stand out from the crust. So for the avocados, I don't want it to be completely mush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a sharp knife and I'm just gonna kind of slit the avocados in a grid pattern. That way we have nice chunks in it. I'll go sideways, side to side, and then I'll go diagonal to, to, to diagonal. Alright, it's looking real good. It's coming together real nice. After that, we're going to season it with some black pepper. Red pepper flakes. A little bit of salt. <laughs> and vinegar. This is a brand new bottle, so we gotta pop it up. Just a little squirt, just like that. From here, we're just gonna mix it with a spoon. This way we have a nice seasoned filling. Oh, and I almost forgot sesame oil. Very fragrant, gives it a nice zing. Beautiful. Wow, I can smell smell that odor. Very delicious. Very fragrant and aromatic. Good. All right, so for the vegetarian filling, we're cutting up the cabbages into nice thin slices and that goes for all of the ingredients as well including the mushroom and tofu and wood ear after that we're going to mix it all in the bowl so that we can prepare for the filling as you can see we're dicing up the cabbage into fine slices so that when we bite into the egg rolls we don't get a huge chunk but at the same time we're still getting pieces uh, chunks and not just mush Here is the the bowl of filling for the veggie egg rolls. One only missing one more thing is right here, the dried rice noodle. And here I'm gonna pour boiling hot water over it so that it cooks within hopefully a couple seconds. Just to make the noodles a little bit more manageable in size. We're going to cut the noodles up with a pair of shears. Very violently. Alright. Now we're going to stir fry the veggie mix. We've got the skillet pan on a medium high heat. So we can just give it a, a quick sear. Get all the water content out so that the egg rolls inside won't be soggy. The final product for the stir fried veggies. You don't want to overcook it because we're still going to deep fry it. So this is what it will look like. 
We also got the rice noodles and all. Now we're just gonna transfer it into a bowl so that we can set it aside to cool down and ready to wrap. All right, everyone. Now we get to the fun part. All the prep work is done. Now we get to rolling, okay? So first, here I got the egg roll wrap. We're gonna just put it on a clean board and I'm gonna just get, put a spoonful of the avocado mix that we prepared. I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit. You don't wanna be shy on the filling, but at the same time, you don't want the avocado to burst with the egg roll. And then here, we have the little smoked sausage. And to roll it, think about the chipotle burritos, all right? You want a tight roll so everything's nice and firm. You're gonna roll it up a little bit. Now you're gonna bring the sides together just like that. Starting to look like an envelope, right? Now we wanna tuck tight and roll forward. Tuck tight and roll forward, and there's your final product. I'm gonna put it aside on the plate. And now, all right, now I'm gonna show you the veggie mix. Again, we got the veggie mix right here. Same thing, you don't wanna be shy on the filling. Oh, it's a messy one right there. Here we go. Get a little corner. So first, tight roll to start off everything. Then roll it again a little forward. There we go. Now we wanna tuck in the corners just like so, so nothing leaks out. Remember, you wanna be delicate with the egg roll making process. So here we go, nice egg roll. All right. All right, everyone. That was one of each. Now we're gonna roll about 25 total. I'll see you in, this, in a bit when it's all done. It's frying time. The chicken have been marinating for about an hour. Egg rolls are all wrapped up. Now I got two pans filled with oil and they are ready to go. One way that you can uh, know whether the oil is ready or not in terms of heat is you use a wooden chopstick and if you poke it in the oil, getting a little bit closer, you'll see bubbles forming around it. So this pan's ready to go. I'm gonna start frying up the egg rolls. So you wanna be very delicate with it. Uh, you never wanna put, you never wanna deep fry on a low heat. Otherwise the, the skin, the outer layer will soak up all that oil and it become It'll get really soggy, you don't want that. You want it, the outer layer to be crispy. And as you can see, it's starting to brown already. We're gonna give it about a minute or so, then we're gonna turn it occasionally. Okay, for safety purposes, we gotta wear some eyewear. Get some swag on, all right? So these look nice and golden brown, ready to go, really crisped up. It actually took less than a minute. And when you're ready to take them out, make sure you drain them really well and put them on a plate with a paper towel. That way the bottom won't get soggy and all. Very nice. Wow. Alright, now we're just going to go with some more. In you go. These egg rolls are puffing up real good right when they hit the oil. That's, that's how you know the outer layer is. All right, now we're gonna fry the chicken up. But to give the oil some flavor, I'm gonna put in some Thai basil. Oh, I knew that was coming. And some garlic. All right, now I'm going to put in the chicken. One by one. Wow, that smells amazing. So we're gonna let this sit, we're gonna let the chicken sit for about two minutes, two to three minutes, just so we know that the interior is his outcome of the egg rolls that we've already fried up. It's a little bit on the dark side, but if you listen closely, very crispy. Nice. All right, we just gave the chicken a nice turn and look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks flavoricious right there. Oh, oh. 
That smells amazing. That fresh aroma from the basil, the garlic being deep fried. It's a great smell right there. And a great taste on the chicken. Egg rolls, come check it out, take a look. These are the final product. Very crispy exterior and as you can see, soft and fluffy interior. Look at that, just flaked right off. And here we got the remaining egg rolls cooking. This one, very fat, very juicy. Can't wait to put it in my mouth. All right guys, the egg rolls and chicken are finally done. Here's the final results, come get a closer look. So, do you hear that? Super crispy exterior. Let's go ahead and cut inside and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. It's just an explosion. <laughs> That's quite messy, but never speak too soon. Let's see how it tastes, all right? Avocado egg roll with the smoked sausage. Mm. I have to say, sounds like a weird combination, but it's pretty good. Delicious. Moving on, here we got the vegetarian egg roll. It's also cut right in to see. Wow, this one held pretty well, actually. You can see the, the rice noodle, the woodier mushroom and tofu. Let's give this a taste. Wow, the flavors are on point. Pick up the crisp from the wood ear. The tofu is nice and firm. The noodles act like a really nice filler and absorbs all the juices from all the veggies. Very nice. And the skin, very crispy. I like it. Last but not least, here we got the fried Asian fried chicken wing. Nice and crispy skin. Let's, let's give this an open. Wow, it just pulls right apart. Wow. Let's look at that steam. And the meat is still very juicy. Do you see that juice just glistening off the meat? Here's the taste test. Mm. The meat is juicy. It could use a little bit more seasoning but the flavor is there. I can pick up the, the variation of spices and the Asian zing from the sesame oil. Stands out very nicely. Well, everyone, thank you for watching today's video about egg rolls and fried chicken. Hope you enjoyed and hope you use the recipe that we just showed. Until next time, we out. Peace.